Carnegie scientists Ken Caldera and Stephen Davis have released a study indicating that over a third of consumption-related carbon dioxide in developed countries may actually be emitted elsewhere. Well, where CO2 emissions occur and where related products are consumed are two different things. And um, just like electricity you use in your home probably causes CO2 emissions when the coal is burned at a power plant somewhere else, we show that products imported by consumers in developed countries like Western Europe, Japan, U.S. relate to substantial CO2 emissions in other countries, and especially China. The United States is a significant importer and exporter of carbon emissions. On balance, 11% of U.S. consumption-related emissions occur in other nations, primarily the developing world. In Europe, the numbers are even higher. Specifically, between a third and a half of the emissions related to the goods and services that are consumed in many European countries actually occur elsewhere. The research used trade data from 2004 to create a global model of the flow of products across 57 industry sectors and 113 countries. It is the most comprehensive study of its kind, incorporating the latest available data. Many products considered relatively carbon-free may actually be associated with significant carbon dioxide emissions. Because it doesn't matter to the climate system where emissions are produced, effective policy must have a global scale. More fairly allocating the responsibility for emissions may help in negotiations about climate policy, but the researchers offer no policy recommendations in this study. We're doing science and, and support of policy. Our study itself is a, is a purely technical and scientific study. What we did was to provide information and, and an analysis that could be taken into consideration in developing CO2 emission targets in each country, but that is really a question for policymakers. The results were published in the March 8, 2010 Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. This is John Strom for the Carnegie Institution.